Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a, well, what I intend to be a very short uh, video, but I'm at um, Amsterdam, Schiphol at the moment, and I'm testing something out that um, one of my subscribers actually found out that this morning. Uh, so I've just worked through and downloaded it all, had a little go, and it's in relation to model matching. Um, so I'm at Amsterdam because uh, I, I can see there's a good variance of aircraft here, uh, and it involves installing the IVAO Altitude client to get their model matching file and then downloading someone else's file that uh, I'll put the links and everything to uh, and it works in addition to my file uh, my model matching file so there's redundancies and things in place um, and we should therefore have A320s as we can see there the CEO with the uh, normal winglet so that's good that's working so a Lufthansa beautiful and I can just see a KLM there um, and it looks like a big jet so I'm going to put drone speed on high so it's going to be jittery so I do apologise but it's just so I can actually zoom about the outfit oh my good grief a triple seven KLM oh my days it works Air France over there what's that a little A319 is that certainly looks like it a little A319 Neo any more for any more, as they uh, used to say on those bad TV shows in the 80s and 90s. That's mad. So I'm so happy with that. There's us in the distance on the left. KLM triple seven. I never thought I'd see this in the sim for like years to come. A little older Lufthansa A319. I'm just looking around, scanning about, to see if I can find any anything else. Um, but I can't at the moment. No bother. I'm so happy with that. What a find. Uh, i got to thank Robert X on Discord for uh, pinging me this morning and letting me know. So we can actually check it out. And how this works, basically, um, this file that I've installed here takes priority over my file. Because then it forces, it looks for all of these models first. And it is limited currently. We've got A319s, 2021s, 20, the Neo variants. Uh, we've got the Boeing 777s. We've got um, 787 and a few other bits as well in there. But it, the model matching from IVAO currently is limited. So the file, that file is limited by, uh, by the altitude model matching uh, that IVAO have built so far. Um, but the more that expands, the more we'll get more model matching. So happy days. But in absence of it, what I also have done is, um, if I share this screen... Um, I've actually so that's the airlines.vmr file that someone else has created and then I've got my model matching file directly underneath so when it can't find a correct model so for example there the triple seven if it can't find that um, then what it does is it looks for my file to do matches within the models we have in the in the sim itself so um, what I'm going to do I'll We've had a little scout here, and we can see this looks pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to sp spawn over to Heathrow, uh, and I'll have a little look what's going on there. So just need to reconnect back into vPilot as Observer. We're running it as administrator as we did before with my file. Just give it a minute for the simulator to actually start to spawn. Normally you just see this slight flash of the screen or a little twitch of the screen. And then you know you're, uh, you're actually loaded in. There you go. So that little, little bump there. And now we can connect. This is so good. So that we've got two VMR files now working. Um, one that someone else has created. Uh, 
I need to find the guy's name actually. Let's have a little look, see if it's on here. No, he's not put it on there, he's not put... Let's see, so he's created a readme file. Um, Mr. Mercury, uh, he's got so a YouTube and Twitch and bits as well. Um, so he's created this. Let's, let's check out, see what we've got at Heathrow then. So we're going to have my model matching file within this. Um, so they're working both at the same time, basically. Who do we have? Who do we have here? I'm going to turn the camera on to uh, a quicker drone again, so I can zoom about. That's a uh, Boeing 787-8. And then we've got my model matching file there working for the A320neo. Who's that? Let's have a little zoom in and look. There we go, so we've got an older A3 uh, A319 actually, look. That one emergency exit on the door. They are low res, but that's good for frame rates. They are from a slight distance, there's no difference at all, so. There we are, we've got 319s, uh, 787, we've got my uh, model matching file working in tandem as well. Uh, who else who have we got here? Ryanair 737-800. Loaded in, and who's that on the runway? It looks like a 777. Oh my god, it is a 777. Oh. So I'm going to try and get ahead of it, so I can get a little screenshot of him taking off. And that's going to become my thumbnail for the video, I think. There's a, it looks like a DHL over in the corner, both, both by cargo. Have we got anyone else on the ground? Oh, there's two actually on the hold. <laughs> if anybody's watched uh, Big Jet TV, it's, I literally feel like him right now. So they're, they're both from my model matching, so it'll be someone else. Uh, they might have an improper aircraft type neither file will pick up. It still relies on people logging into the VATSIM network correctly. Who have we got here then? Looks like a DHL. Oops. I apologise for the bad drone work. Okay, so that's my model matching file working there. That DHL flight from cargo. Probably an A300. Um, in fact, looking at SimAware, it is an A300, so that's my model matching file working. Um, so we've got the, that 787-8 there. We've got my my aircraft. That's uh, Terminal 5C. We've got my model matching file working as well, jointly. So this now, the two files put together are the absolute most model matching that we've ever had on Microsoft Flight Simulator to date. Um, I'm going to get maybe a screenshot of that one actually as well. Look at that, A319 and a 737-800 in the sim. So there we go guys. Uh, real short video. Um, what I'm actually going to show you now is how to install it. So we all know how to install my model matching file, uh, and that's on flightsim.to. The link's in the description, and I've created an installation video just for that. Um, but I'm also going to show you the link to this website here. Um, so I'm going to put the link to this website in the description. What you need to do is uh, follow these instructions. So you don't really need that news website in, in a sense. So you install the IVAO Altitude client here. So you download that for Altitude for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So you go ahead and download that, and it installs a uh, quick installer into your downloads, which I've already deleted. You go ahead and execute that file, and it will install Altitude completely. It, takes a, it took me about an hour to install, it was very slow from their server. Um, it took an hour and it was installed and then you go to your community folder. So inside your Microsoft Flight Simulator, 
package local cache packages community and then you scroll down and you find bump IVAO X CSL so this is all the altitude IVAO model matching so we've got 787-8, 747-8, with three engine options, General Electric, Pratt Whitney, Rolls-Royce, Boeing 737-800 two variants of the 777 there, A380, A350, A340, A330s, A321s, A320, A319. So then what uh, what you'll do is, what you'll need to do, I'll actually put the link to this uh, Mr. Mercury's Google Drive uh, on the description so it's easier for you guys to find. Um, all I've done is install airlines.vmr so I've downloaded that airlines.vmr file and I've uh, put that into my vpilot folder as you can see there. So I've got airlines, I've got his defaults folder as well but I'm actually going to delete that because that puts in the generic Asobo ones that we've always tried to get rid of. Uh, so inside my vpilot files I've then got airlines from Mr. Mercury and my premium deluxe because uh, I've got premium deluxe marks for flight simulator uh, my model matching file as well so there's there's both in there you run vpilot as administrator you go to settings and all you need to do is add Mr. Mercury's file above my model matching file and vpilot will then check both so as we've just seen at Heathrow um, if I go back to the sim, as we've seen at Heathrow, that DHL that was taxiing um, is all the way down there at 27 left. Um, what it's doing is it will search his folder first for all of the IVAO airline models. And if it can't find a match, so that right in the distance there, that DHL A300, him. That doesn't exist in the IVAO model matching, so it doesn't exist in his file either. But it, is ex it exists in mine, um, providing you have that DHL livery installed. I force it to the DHL A320neo. So it looks for the airlines.vmr, it can't find the model for him, and instead of just putting a default one back in again, so we have all those hideous default Asobo things, it then searches my model matching file. And uh, it will then go, okay, well, in that second priority VMR list, we can see that we should put that DHL A300 into a DHL A320neo. Uh, and that, that, that's what it's done. So it's using both, um, both files, both folders, um, to create the most um, comprehensive model matching that we've ever had, actually, on the sim, uh, which is incredible. I mean, you could put it underneath... Uh, oops! You could put it underneath, and I don't think it has any difference. Um, let's have a little look. Control let's, uh, spawn in. Give it a minute to load. So we know there's an A319 on the ground and a Ryanair down here. So there we go. So you can see it has no impact at all, actually, on. Um, on what order you have it in. So it will look at both files um, and it will pull whichever livery it can match. If it can't match any through the IVAO stuff then it will pull the liveries and everything from my file uh, which uses the liveries from the Megapack and FlightSim.to. So I hope you find this one useful. It's um, oops, fat fingers again. This is the most uh, comprehensive model matching we've ever had in the sim. In fact, there's a there's a easy jet just spawned in. A319 by the looks of it. So this is the most comprehensive uh, model matching that is now currently available on Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it's my model matching file and a model matching file from Mr. Mercury. Um, so be sure to download both. Um, I'll certainly put the links for his uh, airline VMR file into the description for this but also on my flightsim.to page as well uh, so I hope you found this useful and uh, make sure you click subscribe as well while you're here thanks for watching